On to the next topic. Trey Lance got injured in the first quarter. It's an ankle injury. He's out for the season. The Niners still managed to beat the Seahawks 27-7, something the Broncos couldn't do. Now, does Jimmy G put the 49ers in a better position to win than Trey Lance? And also, what do you think about Trey Lance moving forward? I mean, this is somebody that 2020 didn't play football for an entire year because of COVID. 2021, he sat vir- virtually the entire year. And now this year, he's injured for the entire year. So that's three years of not playing football. So what's your outlook on Lance? I know you're the Lance guy, Joe, so I'll let you speak on it first. <clears throat> first off, sucks for Trey Lance, man. I'm, I'm really am heartbroken for him. Um, he seems like he's in good spirits. You know, he, he tweeted out. Um, he seems like a very spiritual guy. So how, doing well. Yeah, the comeback is, is going to be worth uh, all the adversity he's going through. Um, to speak about Trey, though, I mean, I feel terrible for him. He was given the franchise keys this season. Week one, he plays in a monsoon against the Bears, a game everyone's expecting him to win. They don't look good. He loses the game. He's getting all this shit, all this criticism the entire week. He could finally shut people up week two, and then the first quarter he goes out, breaks his ankle. So it sucks because he didn't even get a chance to respond to the critics. It sucks because we didn't get a chance to see him play two consecutive games in a row at any point in his career. Um, And coming into the season, I was a bit concerned since he hadn't played football in two years. That was already on my mind. And now that we're going on a third year, especially an ankle injury to a big guy who a lot of his game is about mobility, being able to get out of the pocket, make guys miss. It is concerning for his long-term future, but I am hopeful with modern medicine, especially being on the West Coast. I got some of the best doctors. I'm sure San Francisco is going to put you know him in the best position to be able to recover. Um, but moving on to the question at hand, does Jimmy G put the Niners in a better situation? Nobody's going to know because we don't know what Trey Lance is. We don't know if Trey Lance was going to go and open up this offense and take them to one of the best offenses in the league. Or we didn't know if he was going to just flat out suck for the whole season and they win six or seven games. Now me, as a Trey Lance truther, as someone who I thought can open up this offense more, have some more big plays and make this just completely different offense than Jimmy G, I think it would have been better with Trey Lance, especially with the type of plays Kyle Shanahan calls for him, um, you know, in terms of running the ball, read options, RPOs, everything that they had uh, set up for him, I thought the offense would be better and more explosive with Jimmy G. But we know what Jimmy G is going to do. He's going to come in, give you around 250 yards a game, complete 67% of his passes. He's going to miss some throws you're expecting him to make. (laughs) And every once in a while, he'll make a couple throws. We're like, oh, you know what? He's not a bad quarterback. We saw it last year, the second half of the year, he was fantastic. Then in the playoffs, he was fucking terrible. So for the 49ers... He was also hurt. He was banged up, for sure. He was banged up. Um, for the 49ers, I think the biggest problem is that you still don't have an answer at quarterback, right? Either two Ooh. things two things could happen, right? Or three things, really. But the two yeah. most terrifying, or the most terrifying thing is <coughs> if Jimmy G just did what he did last year where he had some stretches where he was really good, the playoffs, he sucks, but you made it to the fucking conference championship. He's not a, a scrub. You can't just walk away, and he's a free agent after this year, remember, too. So if another team garners interest, you're going to have to pay Jimmy G to resign him, and you still have Trey Lance there. So I think... The worst situation for the Niners is they play well enough to get into the playoffs, win one or two playoff games, and you're in the same situation. Hopefully, um, I shouldn't say hopefully it's a Trey Lance truther, but if you want your answer at quarterback, you either hope that Jimmy G either misses the playoffs, they, they go out round one, or they go and win the Super Bowl. Because if those two things happen, then you have a much more clear answer at who's going to be your quarterback in 2023. But if you're San Francisco... It's a hard decision to make because I want to see Trey Lance in this offense. You traded multiple first and second round picks to move up to number three overall for him to be the franchise quarterback. And now you're stuck again with Jimmy G, who they're going to win games. They're going to make the playoffs most likely. But we know Kyle Shanahan saw Garoppolo make plays. We saw them go to the Super Bowl, and he still said, I want a different guy at quarterback. So it's unfortunate for Trey Lance. I hope he's able to get back. They're expecting a full recovery for him to be back for 2023. But for right now, the 49ers quarterback system or quarterback uh, controversy is still real. You want to go, Riff? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, For me, I just feel like when you're you're near the FO, you're Kyle Shanahan. You've made it be very known this offseason that – Trey Lance is your guy. Trey Lance is going to be the quarterback. So I feel like regardless of what Jimmy G does, in my opinion, this year, whether they go to the Super Bowl, whether they go to the NFC Championship, Trey Lance should still be your guy. You've made it very known. The only thing that stopped him from being your guy is he got hurt. So I think he should still – because he didn't lose his job. So I think he should still come back next year and be the quarterback. As for Jimmy G being the quarterback for the Niners – you saw the energy looked a little different. You saw the guys feel comfortable. This is their guy that they've been playing with for a couple of years now. So you saw the energy go a little different. The team looked a little better. You know, the Bears game, weather was ridiculous. So the team wasn't that great. Against the Seahawks, a bad opponent, opponent which most teams should beat. Uh, the <laughs> Niners did their business. They handled it. 
now they go week three. I think with Jimmy G, their ceiling goes pretty much where it was before. Maybe a little bit better with Jimmy G because he's comfortable in the system. He's played with them. Trey Lance was an unknown with Jimmy G. You know, with this team, they're they're a conference championship team. They can make the conference championship team. I mean, they can make the conference championship, possibly make the Super Bowl with Jimmy G, regardless of how he plays. You know, because the defense is solid and the offense could give you what it can give you, even with the Jimmy G's deficiencies. I do think that they're going to still make the playoffs regardless. I think the Niners are just too good with the Rams. They don't look great, even against the Falcons. That was a win. They still didn't look good. And then the week before when the Bills stomped them, they didn't look good. Arizona, they're going to be up and down all year. K1 can get you wins like that. Yeah. We don't know how many he's going to be able to get you. That, that schedule is still tough. So realistically, if we're thinking about it, it's the Niners division to lose, honestly. They, they have Jimmy G. They have Kyle Shanahan. They have the team. The consistency is back. The quarterback is back. I think this does suck for Trey Lance because we wanted to see him play. You know, his guy, even Justin Fields is going to get a chance to play. It may not be a great situation, but he's going to get a chance to play. All his guys, what, Mac Jones, even though his situation sucks, he's going to get a chance to play. For Trey Lance, it sucks because he doesn't get the opportunity to show that potential. But with the Niners, the fans, they shouldn't feel bad about it. They're still going to be able to compete. They're still going to be able to make a run because you know Jimmy G, like you said, is going to give you exactly what you know he's going to give you, and it's going to lead the wins. I just want to say, first off, I hate this topic because I hate the idea that we have Trey Lance, who obviously has a lot of hype and a lot of potential on his name, and it's a topic where we see this guy break his ankle, and now we're talking about Jimmy G and how is he going to, how is he going to best suit the Niners as opposed to this guy who just got hurt. Like that, it, this is bittersweet for me. Uh, not let me not say bittersweet. This is just hard for me to grasp. I should say, uh, but just to answer the question very honestly, I feel like this limits their floor. You mentioned ceiling. I feel like this limits their floor for me. I think that with Jimmy G, you understand what your floor is. You're gonna make the playoffs. You're gonna win games, but it's not gonna be blowout games. It's not gonna be that the quarterback's going over the top and winning you these ball games. It's gonna be game management at its highest level, and it's going to be based off the defense being as dominant as it was last season, the main reason why it went to the NFC Championship last year. And it's going to be based off whether, one, Jimmy Garoppolo is healthy because that's the reason why he was not nearly as good as he was in the regular season. And two, which Garoppolo are we going to get? Are we going to get the one we saw in the playoffs, which was hurt? Because a lot of people seem to believe that the injury didn't have anything to do with it. Or are we going to see the Jimmy Garoppolo that we saw in the second half last season? I feel I'm very comfortable lying in the middle where Jimmy G has shown to have success in this San Francisco uh, team, excuse me. And at the minimum, you can expect Jimmy Garoppolo, like Joel said, to throw for 240, 250 yards, to not put the team in a position to lose games. <clears throat> I just think that you look at the Niners as a whole and Jimmy G's the safer play. As for Trey Lance... This is horrible. This is not anything you wanted to see, whether you had a, a Niners agenda, whether you were anti-Trey Lance. You never root for injury. This is absolutely the dead last thing that I wanted to see happen to, to, to a player of his stature. I'm praying for a speedy recovery. And I think that with Trey Lance, they would have still been a playoff team regardless. So this really doesn't change much for me other than the fact that you look at Jimmy G, you see his previous success, and that's what can allow you to move on and think the Niners are a little bit more safe. They just blew out the Seahawks. Dominant team. Seattle. I know, but you but said they can't they're not gonna blow teams out. They just blew a team out. Seattle's one on one. Yeah. We're talking about we're talking about we're talking about dominant, really good teams. Hey, you know me. I, hey, I, you're I right. Full. You're right. You know? I, I know. Hey, I mean Sons, Denver couldn't do. The same uh, record as the Ravens. Gotta respect them. Listen, you know, a lot of slander's been coming down for his way. No, you guys suck. Second They're in one division. They're one and one, too. Hey, no, you guys are shit. Second in like, division. It's week two. No, you're dog it's shit. Now. Okay. No, for real. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They're cooked. <laughs> no, you guys are cooked, bro. Okay. Like, no, I'm that, glad you have this opinion. No, no, like, the Texans win didn't move me. And I, ju I just said. It didn't sent, move me either. I'm I just good. You should have higher expectations. You should be ashamed that y'all want to win. I am. You should honestly feel like you're 0 2 right now. I just sent him. Um, you should. I just sent Riv some. Uh, Oh yeah, we'll get into that. Some some Broncos anti agenda. You know? Something you're send us some articles. Yeah, we'll know. get into that later. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think this is devastating for Trey Lance, but it is worrisome going forward that he hasn't played much football. We talk about Jordan Love all the time and how he hasn't played. 
Trey Lance hasn't played. <laughs> and I think that's concerning. I do disagree with something you said. And before I get into it, I'll just say this. Michael Silver of the San Francisco Chronicle was quoted. Something several players and coaches enunciated privately in the wake of Sunday's game. The 49ers are a better team right now with Garoppolo at quarterback than they were with Lance. It's just so ugly to say. We just don't know if that's true. No, and forget about that. It's just an ugly statement to make. He just broke his ankle. You're not even going to give the guy 24 hours. I mean, but these better. are these are several players. But okay, yeah, these even, players are 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 terrible. Even without you saying that, Drew, and even yes, it's in the wake of the game. This has been a a constant feeling all off season and in the summer <clears throat> that the Niners players have thought Jimmy Garoppolo gives them a better chance to win. They like Jimmy Garoppolo more in that locker room. That's not a guess. That's a fact. Liking him more. I think is more of a fact because, like Riff said, Garoppolo has won with them. They they ha- they are they have bonded. Trey Lance is coming <laughs> in new. It's a situation is difficult. He's young. Too. That's why I wasn't a huge advocate of them keeping Jimmy G because the locker room becomes divided. But now you see why they kept him. It's an insurance policy, and more so, I think Trey Lance's style of play is more susceptible to injury and how Kyle Shanahan has to call the game for Lance. This is where you and I differ. I believe the playbook opens up more with Jimmy Garoppolo in the offense with Trey Lance. Can he make more high level throws? Yes. On a consistent basis. No. Is he a runner? Does he give you that athletic juice in the offense? Yes. But as of right now, Trey Lance He's not accurate. Jimmy Garoppolo is accurate. Kyle Shanahan can call more drop back passing plays and can call more passing concepts with Jimmy Garoppolo in the game. There is a reason why with Trey Lance, a lot of the stuff was running concepts, was design runs for Trey Lance. But even in the early in the Seattle game, there was at least, I think, two, three design runs already for Trey Lance. But that's how you have to play him right now because he's raw in other areas. Now, Trey Lance, I'll just say this. I think they beat Seattle anyway with them. I think the Niners would have been a 40, 40, would have been a playoff team with Lance anyway. But I do think Jimmy Garoppolo gives them a better chance this year to win. This is a roster that's elite. The NFC is not elite. You look at the NFC, the top teams right now, I look at the Eagles, I look at the Bucks. The Bucks have question marks specifically with injury, and the Eagles, Jalen Hurts, the jury is still out. And Nick Sirianni, can he outcoach Kyle Shanahan in a playoff game? That is still to be determined. The Niners <coughs> have a path to go to the Super Bowl, and I believe because Jimmy Garoppolo right now is a better pocket pass than Trey Lance, he gives them a higher floor. The floor you know, it's, you know what Jimmy, Jimmy G is going to be. The ceiling with Trey Lance, yes, it's there. And yes, it would have been nice to see it come into fruition. But we don't know if that ceiling would have been this year, would have been next year. Reports have said that executives around the believe Trey Lance is a year away from being a year away. And now he's hurt. I think it's going to stunt his development. I still trust in shot in Kyle. I still think Trey Lance has a lot of, he has a great work ethic. So we'll see how good he becomes. But ultimately, the offseason decision to bring back Jimmy G just saved the Niner season. Good. I think the biggest issue Trey Lance has run into and everything you're saying is he hasn't played. We don't know what the floor is. We don't know what the ceiling is because he's played two games his, his rookie year. He had some flashes. He had some things he had to improve on. And then week one against the Bears, you really can't take anything away from it. So while, yes, I do agree the floor has been heightened, you could also make the same argument if this is a 49ers team who early on in the season – is more reliant on the run and doesn't have Jimmy G, who we know misses throws, who throws interceptions that time where he has to make a play, especially in the fourth quarter when teams know you have to pass. The floor on paper, sure, is higher. But 
without Trey Lance being able to play, without him being able to develop, it's a very short-sighted mindset. Because for this season, sure, the floor might be higher, but then you're going to have the same floor and the same ceiling for the next however many years until you get a different quarterback or unless Trey Lance comes back in 2023 and they give him the keys once again, which I agree with you, Rip. I think you have to. I don't think there's much of another choice unless they're going to go out and trade for a veteran like you know, Lamar has been speculated for the last month if Lamar becomes available the Niners go and do that and trade Jimmy G to someone Lamar else said he's not taking the uh, franchise yeah, tag. he's not taking that so that's really the only situation I see where they they wouldn't um I, I do think you have to give him time to develop because you're right if he doesn't play in the if he doesn't play football for three years it's really hard to go out there and just be accurate and hit guys like you have to get into the rhythm he has to play consistently practice be in those team meetings be prepared mentally and physically for each game to really show his development another year off is terrible because yeah, you're right. Like not the COVID year and then he sat and now it's another year. So for a guy who is raw, who has all the, the talent, the arm talent, you know, it's, um, it's unfortunate because that's what he's he the needs. Shane Sharp of the, of the NFL. That's, that's a pretty good comp, Riv. It's looking like it, you know, hasn't played, has all the potential. The minimum Trey Lance played in college. But I understand. I, I understand I Trey Lance just got hurt. So this question may sound a, a bit this cool. This college was high school. Oh, you're about to go even deeper? Jesus Christ. But bef- do you think now, Damn. like injury aside, like let's let's just act like Trey Lance did not get hurt, right? Do you believe that he Kyle... He's going to the NFC Championship. I'm going to the Super Bowl. Oh. Okay. Do you no, believe this, that Kyle in, Shanahan, this, this John Lynch shape. right now are regretting drafting Trey Lance over a Mac Jones or a Justin Fields? Okay. But let's just act like he didn't get hurt. I think Fields maybe. But that's the whole reason we're asking this question. No, I'm asking this question just because like, you know, do you th- after seeing Trey Lance wasn't as ready as they thought he would be or develop as fast that they thought know. he could develop. To be fair, Fields d- didn't look ready when he first started playing. and Fields still at times doesn't look ready. His roster is also stinky. It is, for sure. Mac Jones was under Bill Belichick, so it was a little different. He probably looked the most ready. I feel like Mac Jones would have thrived in San but Fran. With, I thought they were going to draft with Mac, Mac Jones. Jones. How does you, you get a limited change? change? It doesn't. I Jimmy think, G and I Mac think he's Jones. better than Jimmy G. But does the ceiling, ceiling change? Not much. You, yeah, slightly. The ni- no, the, the, oh, mm. the Niners well, drafted. I think, I, think, I think Jimmy G is uh, at his best, like, top 20-ish quarterback. I think Matt Jones is top I mean, 15, Jimmy G had 15. a stretch at the, end of the, at the end of the year last year where he was great. I feel like the Niners drafted Lance because of the boom potential. Of course, I, I don't think yeah. Mac Jones, as much as, as good as Mac Jones, his ceiling is very limited. Yeah, but you're also a modern, you now have a quarterback on a rookie deal who's better than Garoppolo. You don't have to pay Garoppolo. Who's better and than Garoppolo? Mac Jones. How do you figure? I just think he's a better quarterback. You think so? Yeah. Tomato, tomato. I do think he is slightly better than Jimmy G. I don't G, think the result changes. Correct. Yeah. I don't I, think I, he doesn't drastically change your upside like if Trey Lance hits. Honestly, I, I think if they probably get a little worse because Mac still is relatively young. He's still, he was a rookie last year, so this be his second year. <sighs> Jimmy G, he just, he has the chemistry with these guys. Bringing in a, a new young guy still would have looked bad for the, not bad, but it still would have been hard to adjust with the Niners, because Jimmy G has been in that system. He understands that system. He understands Debo spots, Kittle spots. Like He just understands that. So any QB, the Lance question is crazy. Any QB, though, I just think any rookie QB would have been tough regardless. Would Mac Jones have started last year? Hell no. I think there there was a serious debate he could have. He's not. He, he I was, know Fields wasn't starting last co- year. Coming, coming into the season... Out of the draft, Mac Jones was NFL ready day one. Yeah, but they said that Trey wasn't starting at all last season. From day one, they said that. Because he was raw. He wasn't ready. But Mac Jones, it's it's not that it's a similar situation because I understand your point, but... The New Jim, England playbook is harder to pick up. But it wasn't even a lock that Mac Jones was going to start for New England. He had to beat out Cam. And he beat, beat him out, out Cam. Like, yeah. pretty I mean, easily. Credit, I mean, yeah. credit to Mac Jones you for that. You think he was going to beat like, out Jimmy in Jimmy's own system? I think San Francisco is, is easier to run than New England.